forget Meg even exist. Aussie TV hosts hammers Meghan down for insulting Queen, Yoko Ono of RF. Meghan Markle has been savagely labeled the Yoko Ono of the royal family by a political commentator, before being blamed for the rift between Prince Harry and his family. Listora claimed the sooner we just forget these people even exist, the better, after Prince Harry said that he had visited the Queen last Thursday in part to make sure she was protected. Ms. Storer accused the Duke of Sussex of going from one burning dumpster fire after another since marrying Meghan Markle, including the Winge Fest interview with Oprah Winfrey. Speaking to Sky News Australia, Ms. Storer claimed Prince Harry's lucrative deals with platforms such as Netflix, where he is saying how bad his dad was for his mental health, highlight the problems the Duchess of Sussex has caused the royal family. Ms. Storer said, the sooner we just forget these people even exist, the better. It was only a year ago that this guy had this massive winch fest on Oprah and was subsequently blasted from pillar to post. He's since gone on to a Netflix show on mental health and saying how bad his dad was for his mental health. Now he's saying America is home. Look, since this guy married the Yoko Ono of the royal family, it's just been one burning dumpster fire after another. Ms. Storer was reacting to Prince Harry's interview on NBC Today's show where he said that Her Majesty had been on great form when he saw her at Windsor Castle with Meghan. Prince Harry said, It was great, it was just so nice to see her, she was on great form. She's always got a great sense of humor with me and I'm just making sure she's protected and she's got the right people around her. The Duke added that home for me, for the time being, is in the States to which the host Hoda Kotb smiled. Royal biographer Angela Levin was among the first to criticize the interview, labeling it an insult to the royal family. She said, I don't see how you can stay away from somebody for over a year and not go to the memorial service for her husband, and then pretend that you know better how to look after her than anyone else. I think it's an insult to Prince Charles, Prince William and their partners who have done so much to help the Queen. Piers Morgan has also hit out at Meghan Markle once again in a new interview with the BBC's Ros Atkins on the media show, accusing her of spinning a yarn about the royal family. During his fiery debate with Ros, Piers was grilled on his explosive GMB exit. I chose to leave because it turned out, they didn't tell me this at the time, but it turned out that Meghan Markle had written to Dame Carolyn McCall the night before I was invited to apologize or leave, demanding my head on a plate he claimed. I was told I the USU a public apology for effectively disbelieving Meghan Markle because I had disbelieved what she told Oprah Winfrey or I had to give up the show which I loved. He claimed there was not a shred of evidence to support her claims, and said his journalistic tendencies led him to question if she was being truthful. When I watched it, I felt she was being an actress spinning yarn after yarn to cause enormous damage to our royal family and institution of the monarchy and I wasn't going to have it, he added. Tiki Arbiter, former press secretary to the Queen, said that he believed the monarchy would have felt let down by the details of their meeting being made public, the Times reported. Ahead of the Queen's 96th birthday today, Daily Express royal correspondent Richard Palmer wondered whether the pair might visit the monarch at Sandringham. The query follows Prince Harry telling NBC Today that he and the Queen enjoy a really special relationship. He said, we have a really special relationship, we talk about things that she can't talk about with anybody else.